Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man Legends. Alright, so we've finished off one of the sub-cities. Let's go into this one here. And like I mentioned in the last part, this one is probably the hardest of the three. It's the same general premise, we've just got a big open area here, but as you can see, the robots are a little bit tougher. We've got a new version of those uh, charging guys, you know, that were normally green before, and now they're pink. So, uh, we've got that to deal with. I'm trying to think of the best way to attack this, because if you draw the attention of both of those... Okay, there we go. If you can draw these guys out by themselves, then they're actually quite easy, because they fall over with just a few shots. So as long as you keep up a steady stream, uh, they won't be able to do anything. Those guys are faster than the green counterparts. They will outrun you and absolutely ram into you, like, no matter what you do. So really, you need to get those guys by themselves so you can just focus all your attention on them. Alright, so yeah, this thing's not much of a threat. Uh, it's just the same as it was in the first subsidy, but they do drop quite a bit of money. So uh, this place is actually a pretty good place to uh, make a little bit of money here. So, I don't know why he was firing over there. Oh. Alright, that takes care of that one. So, yeah, we're just going to be going around destroying all the enemies. You know, pretty simple, uh, basic stuff here. Uh, watch out for these guys on the sides, though, because they will like to come up and do sort of a sneak attack if you're not paying attention. So, make sure you look uh, both ways before crossing the road here, so to speak. All right, so that takes care of that. Uh, there's not one on this side or anything. No, all right. So I guess next target is this guy here. Yep, not much of a threat. These guys are pretty slow. They will ram into you if you get this close to them, though. But, nah, whatever. All right, picking up some money. Uh, I think there's actually a guy over here. This is normally one that I miss. Uh, okay, I must be thinking of something else then. Okay, so let's just keep going down the main, uh, stretch here. Yeah, there's one back there, so, uh, keep that in mind. But for now, let's just take this guy out. <laughs> he can't do anything to me. He's trying so hard, but... Whoa, holy crap. <laughs> kind of a spread fire there. I wasn't expecting that. Alright, so now, um, all that's left, maybe this one back here. There he is. Ooh. Okay, it's like he wasn't falling over. I was kind of getting nervous there for a minute. Huh? That sounded like a door opening somewhere. I better take a look around. Oh, no. I was trying to let him finish speaking before I picked those up. because I missed, like, 2,000 any there. Uh, what have we got? Oh, wow. 62,000 already. So, yeah, we're doing quite well, actually. <laughs> Okay, so let's go in here and pick up the next chest, which is the sleeper key. That's two. Just one more. Yep. Okay, so let's head back out of here. And uh, this one's pretty much just a straight shot, so it's uh, kind of hard to get lost. And here we are. Okay, so like I said before, the third one is in Uptown, which is to the west of here, so eh, let's just walk it. Uh, the support car would actually take us really far away. Oh, no, that's east. <laughs> Alright, just down this way. Yeah, the uh, sub-city is pretty much just like right next to the entrance here, so it's a lot quicker to just skate there. And there it is. Yeah, it's really hard to miss. So let's make our way over there. What do you got to say about this? Wait a minute, what's this? I've got to tell the TV studio about this. Oh, boy, I'm going to be famous. I think they can see it from there. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but... <laughs> Alright, so we're now taking on the third subsidy, and this one is actually, uh, in my opinion, probably the easiest. As you can see, it's kind of just got a big boss here, but this guy is really simple. Whoa, holy crap. Oh, well, okay, I didn't mean to get off to this kind of a start. Usually that guy doesn't run all over the place. All right, so let's start out by just taking out the little things that spit out here. It's going to keep spitting out more as we let it keep walking, though. All right, yeah, take this out, and then take this out, too. All right, there we go. Okay, and now what we're going to be doing is pretty much just following behind him. He takes seven steps when he slows down, and then he can just open fire on his open hatch there. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then he opens. And then all you have to do is just sit here and keep doing this. Uh, I don't know how I was missing there, but if you don't miss, then he really can't, like, spit out anything. You eventually keep destroying off sections of him and slowly taking down his life bar, and uh, from here on out, it's pretty much just repetition, really. So that's why I say this one is probably the easiest of the three. Ah, it's always good when you can get in a bunch of hits there. You know what? Active Buster might be a good idea here. Let's try it. Ah, I didn't really do too much. Uh, I think it only hit like once and then it closed the hatch, so I guess the Buster is better after all. Alright, that's one more section done. We're down to the last section here. Uh, I kind of like to get more than one hit, and it takes forever if you only hit them once. Ah, there we go. That works. And open again. There we go. This guy's almost gone. See, yeah, this one's really easy. It's actually a lot easier than the last one was, so... Alright, just a couple more hits. I think we should get them on this one. And there we go. That's that boss done for. Huh? That sounded like a door opening somewhere. I'd better take a look around. I'd better take a look around. Alright, so we open up the third chest here and get the dreamer key. There. This should be the last key. Now all I have to do is open the central gate. Yep, he said it. All we've got to do is open up the central gate, which is in the main gate. And uh, then we'll pretty much be ready to fight the final boss and end off the game. So, I mean, if we wanted to, I could literally just go and end this right now. But uh, I'm going to pick up all the special weapons and stuff. So there's actually still uh, some more stuff we need to be doing, which is probably going to take a little while. So uh, don't worry. It's not quite done yet. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to have uh, Roll take me up to City Hall. Okay, here we are, and this is the point in the game where we're basically going to start tackling all the side quests, because, uh, you know, once we go into the main gate, open up the central gate, that's kind of like the point of no return there, so uh, if we want to get all the stuff, we need to be doing it now. There's actually quite a few things we can do be doing, and some of them are actually pretty cool, so. Uh, first things first, we're going to come over here and actually go into this building, uh, and as we go in here, we're going to see a few familiar faces. It's Jim and his gang, and uh, let's talk to him. Huh? How'd you find us? Oh, this place? This is our secret base. We're still working on it, though. Hey, do you want to be a member of our gang? We could use you to help us finish our base, see? If you don't have to, if you don't want to. What do you say? Eh, sure, why not? I'll play with you. Really? Great. I knew you would join us. Okay, I hereby make you the requisitions officer. Oh, great, that sounds fun. Your job is to procure all the things we need to fix up our base. Let's see, first off, we need a pickaxe. You need to get a, get us a pick, okay? Good luck. Yep, so uh, Jim here is going to list off a couple things we need to get. And the reason I'm doing this first is because it actually takes some time. Uh, once you get the thing and bring it back to him, you have to wait a while until you can get the next thing. So uh, it's good to go ahead and get this going. You know, we can complete other side quests while we're waiting. And it'll just be one smooth transition here. So we need to be picking this guy up a pick, and you may not really have any idea where to get it. If you actually talk to him again after he gave you the assignment, he would kind of give you a hint. We actually need to be talking to this construction worker here. Huh? A pick? Sure, you can borrow mine. And there we go, we get a pick. So now all that's left to do is uh, pretty much just to take it back to him. It could get a little bit tedious going back and forth here. I wish it didn't have to be so far out, but... All right, so let's return it to him. Hey, you got a pick. I knew we could count on you. Okay, leave the rest to us. We'll get this place fixed up so you won't even recognize it. Come back and take a look later, okay? Yeah, and it's at this point where we pretty much just have to wait for them to finish remodeling the uh, secret base a little bit. So uh, that's really all we can do there for now. We'll definitely be back later, though. Um, okay, so what's up next? The first thing I can think of to do is uh, actually up here in the City Hall area, so I guess it's a good thing we're doing it now. Uh, we're going to be heading by the police station. The chief there is actually going to have a, a couple things for us to do. Uh, I think there are three side quests in total that deal with the police area, so... And we get to check out a new building here. We haven't been in here yet, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it's got some cool little music here. I really like it. We got a nice open area here. We got some news. It's a newspaper. Let's see what the headlines say. 
Class A Digger tackles Island's buried mysteries. It's another headline. Flutter flies again. <laughs> they really care too much about my uh, ship, if you ask me. We can handle all the everyday stuff. We'll let you take care of all the weird stuff. Oh, yeah. Very competent, leaving your uh, security in the hands of a 14-year-old boy. I guess he is a 14-year-old boy with body armor and a gun for an arm, but well, whatever. All right, so the chief is up here. Uh, let's talk to him. We kind of reached the end of our rope with this last disaster. Things haven't completely quieted down yet, so we'll stay on alert status for a little while longer. When you have the time, stop by and talk to us sometime. Never know when we might need your help again. Yep, so uh, like he said, he's going to be offering us a few uh, little side quests. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go out and save before doing this because it's actually very easy to screw up. And once you screw it up, you can't do it again. So uh, I will do that and then be right back. Okay, we're back in the inspector's office, so let's talk to him. Uh, no, that's not his desk. Him. There we go. Oh, Mega Man, I was hoping you'd come by. There's something I'd like to ask your help with. A little while ago, this little kid with a yellow face came up to me and told me that he dropped something downtown. I didn't really understand what he said to me. He said he dropped three things and that we'd all better run or something. I'm not sure what it all means, but I've got a hunch something's not right. Could you go check things out for me? Thanks, and good luck. Alright, so we need to investigate some things downtown. A kid with a yellow face. Uh, he's probably referring to one of the serve bots. So, uh, that can't be good. So we need to hurry up downtown, and we're actually kind of, uh, stuck in the side quest now. If we try to use the walkie-talkie, Roll will just say she's busy and can't get to us, so we need to take care of this before we do anything else. So when we make our way downtown... Whoa! Holy crap! A bomb! That must be what the inspector was talking about. You gotta find the other two before they explode, and that's pretty much the side quest here. Maybe if you can find someone who saw something. Yep, so we've got to find those two bombs before they explode. We're not given a timer, which is actually rather inconvenient. Uh, it's not like a bomb going off with them. It's the thing I saw by the greenhouse. So we've got uh, a little lead here. We need to check beside a greenhouse. There are two main areas where this bomb can appear. Uh, and it doesn't look like it's over here, so we've got to quickly make our way. Uh, definitely don't dawdle here. If you uh, end up like missing one of the locations, then uh, you could be in some serious trouble and uh, not have enough time. This is why I said uh, it's probably a good idea to save. Okay, I honestly can't find it here. If it's not there, then where is it? Oh, there it is. All right, good. Okay, so here's the first bomb. It's disarmed. All right, so we've got one more to go. Uh, we need to talk to this guy over here who's going to give us a hint. Looking for something? You know, I lost something myself. I was fixing a roof and got my tools on the roof. Last place I thought of to look. Just goes to show you things are always in the place where you least expect to find them. Yep, so the next bomb is uh, up on a roof, and we've got to find a way to get up there, uh, which is actually easier said than done. Uh, even though we can jump really high, a lot of the buildings are uh, too high for us. But we can come over here to this one and grab onto the ledge, and I kind of look down to see if we can see it. It doesn't look like it's over here, so uh, I'm going to head over to the other side. And uh, hopefully it'll be here. I don't know how much time I have left. Like I said, I wish they gave you a timer. Uh, oh, come on. Grab on. <laughs> Alright. Uh, there it is. Right over there. Phew. Alright, man. Okay, so there we go. That's the second bomb. And uh, that's all of the bombs because he said he dropped three. We saw one explode, so we are now done with this. Uh, but before we leave the area, it is actually vital, uh, at least for me anyway, that we uh, go around checking the garbage cans because there's an item we can get right now that we can't get any other time. So we need to be going around and uh, checking all of these. I don't know where all of them are. This could take a little while. Sometimes it takes, you know, some time to search them all. Um, let's see. Oh, come on, that's got there, there's one. Kick it. Okay, is it this one? Oh, uh, no, that's not what I wanted. All right, quick, we got a minute and a half. Let's go. Got to find it. What about this one? No. Uh, <laughs> All right, not over here. Maybe it's this one over here. I think it's this one over here. Ooh, yeah, that's it. All right, it's a garbage pail, and this has the bloom bear parts. It's very important that you get it if you're going for 100%, because once you leave this area, I think it's gone forever. So make sure you do that after you um, find the bombs. But 
Okay, so that completes that little side quest. If we go back to the inspector, he doesn't really give us anything. Basically, our rewards were the things we picked up. The plastic, plastique, I guess is how you pronounce that, I don't know, and then the bomb. So, alright, we're about to run out of time. In the next part, we will do some more side quest stuff. That's what we're going to be doing for a while. So, until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.